Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, Christ to Islam, welcome to the channel y'all, chest and yak, shimash, good day, ni hao, and hey y'all. So today I'm going to be doing a video on probably the cheapest robot vacuum you can buy in the world. It cost me £14.99 on eBay, and here it is, it is called the doesn't have a name actually it is that cheap that they couldn't even put a name on it so let's get you a bit closer and let's take a look at this sweeping robot so first of all before we start the video i'd like to say a great big thank you to nick for getting me something off my amazon wish list which is this is soldering iron a soldering wire lead free so I'd like to say a great big thank you to Nick for uh, getting me that gift off my Amazon wish list. I really, really appreciate it. And this will be used in future videos when I have to do some how to fix with things. So I'll pop that to one side. Now, I've not done a video at all on a robot vacuum, even though probably none of you know this. I do actually have a robot vacuum. I got this from Australia and i bought it years ago it's got to be about six seven years ago and i had it shipped over from my parents in-laws from australia uh, i bought this from godfrey's and i think it cost about oh, I think it was about 80 australian dollars back then and i have used it once or twice but I've not done a video on it at all, but I think I will now, but I just wanted to show you this. Uh, this doesn't have a brand on it, but the last time, it's completely dead. The last time I was in Australia, um, I did see this um, branded by Hoover. So yeah, so that is the um, my robot vacuum. Again, it's a no brand one. It seems to be some generic thing, but I will do a video on this again in the future some point. Today, we're going to be concentrating on the world's cheapest robot vacuum cleaner. This one doesn't have a name, like I said. It's just called Sweeper Robot, number K235, Robot Sweeping. And it says on the box, performance, cleanup, enhanced suction, and high capacity. The box is very light, so if there's nothing in there but dust, I wouldn't be surprised so let's take it out of the box <gasps> there it is so we have some accessories there look at that isn't that so sweet it's teeny weeny it's a teeny weeny little robot Oh, it is so cheap looking. Right, okay. So here we have the sweeping robot. There's a button on there that says start. Some sort of um, exit port of air from there. We have the little wheels that move it around. I cannot see any sensors whatsoever. So I think this is going to act... Do you remember those um, toys when you were a kid that sort of like they were a car or a fire engine or something and they would bop into something and then turn around and go in the other direction? I think that's what we got here. So basically we have a toy. This little cover wheels. We have the destructions. And in this little bag we have some Velcro. A little fluffy thing, a little brush, two of those little dusting spiders, and a USB charging uh, cable for it. So where do you charge it up? Oh, there we go. You charge it up there on that tiny little side. There seems to be, I think this might be the battery port here. So let me get a screwdriver and we'll open that and take a look. And then it never works again. Let's take a look. Too big. That's what she said. Okay. Right, let's move you right over it now. 
So I'm going to pull this tab anyway. And let's have a look. Yeah, okay, so that is the battery. That's quite a big, chunky, nondescript kind of battery. Pop that on. And, uh, where's that screw gone? Oh, there it is. Right. I'm going to screw the battery compartment back on. This really does look like a toy. So the two spiders, I assume, yeah, that's very easy. They just clip. I mean, to be honest, I don't really need to read the instructions on this. This is extremely basic. There is the intake port for the um, dust because it has a suction thing on it. Um, and then here on the top, here we have the lid. There's a small filter on it. And the dust just goes into that. Comp there's like a, in, into that compartment. So there's absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> that's like Barbie's robot vacuum cleaner right let's put the filter back on let's put the lid back on there we go let's press start there's that start button there I mean that that's the exhaust port where the air is coming out that's the intake port I would hardly say I would be able to notice anything. And like a toy, it is not even going to do that. It's just going to go round and round. Basically, this looks like one of those tabletop crumb vacuum cleaners that happens to be a robot. It's kind of like a, a robot crumb vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad. Uh, right, um, obviously that's for sweeping it out. That's for untangling stuff. There's a little bit of Velcro there and some, and some material. I have no idea what that's for. Right, let me have a read of the instructions. Okay, so I've looked through the instructions as best as I possibly can, and everything I've explained to you without looking the instructions is what you have to do. This is the mop. So, you stick this Velcro strip onto it like so. You then wet this. <laughs> stick that on. And... That's 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 your mop. Uh, this is the like I thought it was the little brush for putting it out. So what I'm going to do. I mean, we have to give it a demonstration, so that's what we're going to do. So what I will do is I need to charge it up first. So let me get it all charged up. And I will put it and use it in the kitchen. Like that, I will charge it up. We will put down some gay wedding and we will see how much it picks up. I'm not going to be doing the weigh in before and the weigh in after. This is just for fun. So I'm just going to use some gay wedding sprinkles on the floor. Put the camera on top of it. Put it on time lapse and see how long it lasts. So enjoy the video. Okay, so there's the robot vacuum with the camera. And the doggies. So if I lift it up, I've not. Oh, it's fully charged, but I haven't. Jeez, but I haven't. Um, I haven't used it. So you can see, in there, the bin is completely empty, brand new. So let's put the filter back on. There, and the lid. There we go. Nice and tight. 
uh, that's the front of it there so I'm gonna put the camera on top of it there on time lapse I'm gonna put down a little bit of gay wedding there we go just a little sprinkle and now I'm gonna put it on time lapse on both cameras so you'll see how it performs.
Okay, so it has finally stopped and run out of life. Oh, no, it's alive. It's alive. There's a bit more life left in it. And it's dead. Uh, so, as you can see, it's picked up nothing. Um, I mean, it's picked up little bits. Let's go straight into the dustbin. Turn it off. Let's go straight into the dustbin. Okay, that's clean. Oh my God, look, it has picked up. Look at that. <laughs> right, okay, so it has picked up some stuff. Fur, cat fur. Do you know, I think that's Joey's fur. He's been dead for a year. Uh, that's the inside of it. So it has picked up some stuff. But... Nah, right, okay. Let's get this back into the workshop. Let's get back onto the bench. And let's... And let's dissect it. Okay, so we're back in the workshop with the robot sweeper and again if i just take the lid off and the filter so you can see the bits of fluff that are accumulated on the filter fur and of course the inside of it so it just didn't do a really good job to be honest it really is more of a toy let's clean this out Let's flip it over and have a look at the other side. So, a little bit of like static dust. Uh, there's some little bits of fur on the on on these, but they just didn't seem to be any good. They I, I think they were too far low. They were uh, too far up, so they weren't low enough to to do much, which is such a shame. And the the suction thing on it the, that is just so small, and there's just no oomph in it even though it did last a, a long time. So let's just clean up this again. So there we go. That is the first look and demonstration. I will add to that. This is the first look and only demonstration of this little robot vacuum cleaner. If you do think that you are getting a bargain or something that's too good to be true, it probably is. And I wouldn't recommend this unless, um, you wanted to buy one for like a child to play with because there's not really much that can go wrong. I can't get these off now. There we go, one. Pull this one off. Let's give it a yank. Ah, there we go. Um, so I am going to box this thing back up. I'm not going to send it back. It's not worth it, but... When I have one of my visitors or something that come and have a look, they can have it if they want it. So I'm just going to bag it all back up. The charging cable is in the kitchen, so I will get the charging cable for it. But back into the box, sealed up, never to be seen again. So there we go. That is my little video on this 15 pounds, probably the world's cheapest robot vacuum cleaner and I would not recommend it at all. Do not buy, avoid. So it's, it's a complete waste of plastics, cardboard, 
manufacturing time, greenhouse gases, carbon footprint. It's a complete and utter waste of all of that. And products like that, just like this, just sh shouldn't be allowed to be made for the for the waste because it's just absolute garbage. But there we go. I hope you've enjoyed. I do the videos so that you don't have to or waste your money. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, y'all.